Hey, good morning guys. So if you can't tell, I actually recently changed the setup of my room recently. Just got this baby over here. And it's pretty crazy, like for the last maybe year, I've been eyeing this monitor and it was like 600 bucks or 700 bucks, even a thousand bucks when it first came out. And I was like, shit, man, <laughs> that's way too much money for me. Yeah, I could save and I could take out from my investments and buy a monitor. But honestly, a lot of time, I just feel very sort of guilty when I buy like higher end type of stuff. Man, I should have bought it so much sooner because honestly, it's increased my produ productivity so much. I know like right now, maybe you guys are in college and stuff like that. And it's sometimes really hard to pay a premium price for, for something, right? But instead of looking at it as like a vacation or wasting money or something, look at it like an investment. It's really hard, like coming from an Asian family and stuff, we have this like refugee mindset where we're like, oh, I have to be so cheap. I can't spend money on myself because it's looked at as wasteful or being a glutton. Recently, I've just been trying to put costs aside and just think about how can I save more time? Time is my most valuable thing, not money, time. Every single day I wake up and like I'm coming to that point where I don't really have as much time as I think I do. I'm typically up by four or five. I have to go to a gym. Sometimes I sleep in a little later shit, let's be real. But you know, like literally I'm working from nine to nine and then I'm doing refugee hustle and then I'm like trying to edit these videos every day. So it gets busy. I enjoy it, I'm not complaining. Like it's a great problem to have. I pride myself a lot because, you know, I don't consider myself a vlogger or whatever, or like really good at video editing or anything like that. But you know what, compared to some people who who's, who vlog and promote their YouTube, like I put out more content than a lot of these other people while doing all this other stuff. So I take great pride in that. Even though my community is very small, right now it's only like 2,600 maybe. It's not about the quantity all the time. It's about the community that's brought together. And yeah, I got the haters and shit fucked up. But you know, I'm trying to really optimize my time and just find simple solutions to get more bang out of my buck. A few specifics, so it was a 34 inch. It was actually on Buy Dig or wherever. I found it on Slick Deals. If you're Chinese like me or you're Asian like me and like them but a good deal, you gotta go on Slick Deals. And it's been something I've been doing since I was like in college. But just remember, the best deal, that shit's hella addictive. The best deal is not spending at all. But you know, I've been eyeing this baby for like two years or a year at least, you know? And it's really improved my productivity. I don't, before I was editing on this like 13 inch MacBook over here, you know? That's a wicked small, and you know what they say about small things, right? I found myself command tabbing or alt tabbing all the freaking time. It was really annoying. And it would slow like everything from grabbing images and all that. And now I, all I have to do is just drag up from my MacBook up to this big app BBC screen over here. And it's really helped me so much. And I'm just like thinking like, damn, you know, I need to spend more stuff more on stuff that really helps my day to day and invest. I think investing is very important like in the market, but also investing in your daily struggles or daily pains and you get a lot of value out of that. The more time I free up, the more money I can make on YouTube and focus on other stuff like the JK stuff. I'm actually really, really just grateful. Like I have all these opportunities at my doorstep and it's just like, which one do I want to choose? Other people, they might not have that same opportunity, man. And Every day I'm so grateful because, you know, I do realize that it could all be gone one day. Anyways guys, I miss doing these videos and I think it's probably better in my room rather than the kitchen. So, just because you got the dogs and like my roommates walk in and stuff, there's a more personal connection. You guys can see the amount of books I have over here, my Pikachu over here. So, let me ask you this, what has been your best investment? Uh, either money-wise, lifestyle-wise, or anything. I can mean definitely money in the market, daily pains, or relationships. Sometimes we tend to forget about the relationships that we create. Anyways guys, comment below. Uh, we'll see you guys next time. Peace. Once you finish, you can pay off your loans in like two, three years, no problem. <laughs> um, you can save a bunch of money, buy my nice clothes, nice shoes, nice purses. Well, when you get out and you actually do get a job, I mean, yes, you're very excited, but 